right after the war in uh, Marawi, I released 500 million for intervention for those who were dead or wounded during the war. I will subsidize young medicines, especially those who are, uh, well, uh, they need the management uh, for uh, pills. It's uh, 50 million monthly for us uh, AFP, but the 50 million sa Biluna. Dona ninyo ko ninyong ano ninyo for those who are retired. I know that you have uh, medicines to take, management for all the kind of ailment that a soldier suffers when he retires. Kasi baka hindi nyo alam yan. There's always the ready money. I'm going to deliver it right after this uh, ceremony. Uh, pupunta ako noon. I congratulate the Armed Forces of the Philippines for more than eight decades of honor, service, patriotism. To this day, you continue to play a crucial role in safeguarding our citizenry and securing our land. I salute the brave men and women of our Army, Air Force, and Navy for their courage, dedication, and sacrifice to liberate Marawi from the clutches of extremist terrorists and communist insurgents. Having said that, may I also extend my papasalamat sa ating mga pulis and the other uniformed men, personnel in government who fought alongside with you. The success, along with the recent neutralization of Isnilon Hapinon, Hapinon and his, follow and his followers, further bolsters this administration's firm trust towards eliminating all terrorist groups in the country. We will not allow those who subscribe to the Daesh ideology to succeed. We will never allow the Islamic State to make the Philippines its regional center. Although we have already begun to build Marawi City and rehabilitate conflict-affected areas, our fight is far from over. We will remain vigilant as we continue our intensified military operation against the remaining terrorist groups. I now turn to favor our troops who made the supreme sacrifice, suffered injuries, and went beyond the call of duty. Be assured that the government will support all of your endeavors as we realize a stronger and more resilient government. Do not worry about your families. Do not kill yourself just thinking of what will happen tomorrow. As a president, Ramos aptly said, once upon a time, tomorrow will take it of itself. But tomorrow, the Philippine government will always be there to see to it that your children will continue to go to school until college time. You know, guys, I'm sure that if it is just handled right, hindi na kayo maghirap mga edukasyon ng mga anak ninyo. All that I want to see is that an ordinary soldier can finance uh, through education yung mga anak ninyo. I want a sergeant, a corporal, na yung anak ninyo pwede maging as long as they have the brain na they can uh, uh, continue to go to school and be a doctor, a lawyer, for the postgraduate studies. I'm a kind of a person always in a hurry because, you know, the imponderables of life is we just uh, are here for a limited time. Yung year-to-year -year experience are found in the GAA, the general appropriations. Ito, it's a more of a proprietary business that you can go into 
and if handled carefully, you will never be want of money. This is not for this is not money intended to buy bullets and arms, weaponry. It's ten, it's, it, it is purely a social uh, welfare for the armed forces of the Philippines, and you might also include the police. This complements our continued efforts to improve the capability of the AFP by modernizing military equipment and machinery. Having mentioned this, I have, very, I have every confidence that we together as a force will embrace the changes that are necessary for continued development and work even harder to fulfill our duty and responsibility to protect the Filipino people. Again, happy 82nd anniversary at mabuhay ang sundalo ng Pilipinas. I salute you.